um, Board of County Commissioners meeting in February, which would be um, applicable countywide to prohibit the prohibit uh, additional prohibitions against synthetic drugs on a local regulatory level, as well as looking at other alternatives such as having um, requirements that if you are going to sell something that has a package that looks like it could be a synthetic drug, that there may be some kind of requirement. You sign a document that you give your driver's license. We're looking at a lot of different options right now, and, and at this point, um, not only has Hillsborough County been looking at this issue, as well as the city of Tampa has been looking at this issue, but jurisdictions all over the state has been continuously looking at this issue. Um, it is a very difficult thing to regulate, as we've discussed uh, previously, given the chemical compositions and what's happened at the state level, but there is a concerted effort, I believe, on the, on the part of the Hillsborough County and all the agencies to see what other opportunities we have to regulate and prohibit synthetic drugs. I also wanted to note to you that um, Pam Bondi, the Florida Attorney General, has also um, <coughs> taken on this issue and has just um, recently moved in, to enact an emergency rule in which there have been an additional 22 substances which are, are banned as a class C felony drug arrestable offenses. And those additional 22 substances, as you may recall, there, there was additional 50 substances which were added to state statutes last year. These additional 22 substances will more likely than not be looked by, at by the Florida legislature um, during its legislative session coming up in January. So with all of these efforts that are occurring and what's happening on the local level, I'm hopeful that sometime in February I can bring back to you a, a report as to what the conclusion is on this countywide ordinance, whether or not it would be necessary for the city of Tampa to take any additional legislative action in order to, to move forward with what the county has done and uh, we should have a better idea of what we all feel is enforceable. Because of course the biggest issue with this type of regulation is its enforceability. So it was a real pleasure to have that opportunity to sit down, not just with the, my fellow attorneys from the county attorney's office, but also with the state attorneys who are really the people on the front lines who would be in the process of, of enforcing any kind of, of criminalization, additional criminalization, even if it's on a municipal ordinance level of this type of ordinance. Um, I'm available for any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just 